What's going on guys? So today I want to talk a little bit about why the Spurs are starting to look like a legitimate team again. Now I know we didn't win against the 76ers a couple days ago, kind of blew that game. But overall, the, the past few games, or really the first three games since the season's restarted, we've looked really good. First, I want to bring up Bryn Forbes. It's just the fact that he's not in the rotation anymore has opened up a lot of things for a couple other guys. One, we got Derek White starting, so the defense is, has gotten a lot better in the starting lineup, as well as his offense. Derek White's probably been like the second best scorer since the season's restarted. So that's been a big deal. Another thing is Quindary Weatherspoon's been getting some minutes for us. And it's pretty clear just from three games that he's a much better defender than Bryn Forbes. A little more length, athleticism. It's translate a, a lot to defense because Bryn Forbes is, it just isn't a very good athlete. And he puts in effort on defense, but he, he just doesn't move well and isn't a great defender. It really isn't even an average defender. He, he's one of the worst defenders in the league as far as perimeter defense goes. Now I want to talk a little bit about Aldridge being out. I think the Spurs definitely miss Aldridge, but to me, DeRozan and Aldridge just don't fit very well together. I think when one of them is out, the other one always seems to play a little better, and it's showing right now because DeRozan's really balling out. With Trey Lyles out, I think other guys have stepped up. It's allowed Keldon Johnson to be a part of the rotation. Trey Lyles has gotten better throughout the season. He's put in a lot of effort to get better. I think he's a solid player. I'm not sure if he's really helping the team win a lot. Keldon Johnson comes in, obviously plays a different position, but he's a much better defender overall. And, and, he, and he's showing some ability as a scorer already in his rookie season. He, he gets to the rim, he finishes strong, he's pretty athletic. As a matter of fact, he, he reminds me and, and a lot of Spurs fans of like a little mini Russell Westbrook, the way he just kind of relentlessly attacks the basket. Drew Eubanks has been getting some minutes as backup center. He reminds me a lot of Aaron Baines, just big, strong, well-bent. On a well built, I mean, obviously a better leaper than than Aaron Baines. A good shot blocker. Once it, once he gets his timing right, I think he'll be even a, a better shot blocker. Definitely looks like a legitimate backup center in the NBA to me. With Jakob Pertl starting, he, he's been getting a lot more minutes than he was during the season, and a lot of fans have been calling for him to get more minutes. So it's nice to see him in the starting role, and it. It definitely shows that he deserves the extra minutes. I could see Pirtle being off the team if, if we stick to LaMarcus Aldridge as our starting center. Or maybe we move on from him in the near future and, and Pirtle's the starting center of the future. It'll be interesting to see what the Spurs do. But it, it seems like Pop really is sticking with the, the game plan going into the restart of the season where he's going to let the young guys shine they're they're being more aggressive they're they're less scared and and one other thing i want to bring up is lonnie walker being a part of the starting lineup it's just bringing more energy athleticism and the young guys just seem to want it more now i i think bellinelli probably going to fit in pretty well to the team just because now he's pretty much the only guy in the lineup that isn't a great perimeter defender now if patty mills is playing too he's also not but if we have one of those guys in the lineup at one time and, and everybody else is a good defender, then we can kind of hide their lack of defense. So with that, with that said, I don't think we're going to finish the season with the, with the ninth seed. I hope we do, but we have a really tough schedule coming up. we got, like, the Nuggets. They're, they're 15 games ab above us, I think. We have the Rockets. They're 12 games ahead of us. We play the Jazz twice. They're 12 games ahead of us. And, and then we play the Pelicans, which that, that might be the most important game we have left because they're tied with us right now for the ninth seed, I believe. So it'll be interesting to see how, how the young guys do the rest of the season. And DeRozan's really thriving on playing with this new unit. So it'll be interesting to see how that continues. Do me a favor, guys. Let me know what y'all think about the Spurs since the restart. Obviously, in my opinion, they've been a lot more fun to watch. I'd like to know what other Spurs fans think. And outside of that, I don't have much else to say. There was a, a hurricane. I thought it was Isaiah's, but I, it, it's not pronounced like that. And, and I don't know the pronouncer off the top of my head. I, I apologize for that. But it came through last night, and we got about four feet of water where I live. And, and I know some people in my neighborhood got like seven feet of water. Luckily, our house had like no, virtually no damage. So that's really good. But I know some others weren't as fortunate, so keep them in your thoughts. Please do me a big favor, continue to support the channel. I really appreciate that, guys. Leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and that's about it. I'm out. Peace.